guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the best YouTube channel of all time. Oh, which one is that? That is the Jay Wheelie YouTube channel, of course. Today, you'll notice there's a little bit of snow covering everywhere, first snow of the year. And I'm pumped for it. I need the new rad and the legacy and then we can get some snow drifting going on. Oh, wow. Uh. <laughs> Did anybody else have those strings on the gloves when they were younger that went up through the jack and around? That's what these remind me of. Anyway, today we're going to be doing a brake bleed on the Civic here. If you didn't see the last video, we ended off with uh, lubing up the slider pins on here so the wheel would spin a little more freely. And we might just have to take this thing around the block today to see if that did anything, if it helped at all. Um, I quickly cleaned out the air filter. I didn't film that. Um, I don't know what else. I'll let you know when we get there, but I'm hoping this video is going to be a little more exciting, have a little more pizzazz to it, because the last one I found was kind of boring. Um, it was just car work, and I was pretty stressed out, so if it wasn't a very exciting video, that's why. It's just, I don't really know what I'm doing with cars all the time, and sometimes I try to act like I know what I'm doing, sometimes I try to be truthful and let you guys know that I don't know what I'm doing, so most of the time... I don't really know what I'm doing. I do a lot of forum research and everything, and Hondas are a new thing for me, so there's so many engines and so many things going on with Hondas, and I think they're pretty cool. Pretty underrated, so let's get to it. The ramp on the right rear there got pushed back, so I'm gonna jack up the car and put the ramp under, but I know what you guys all wanna hear. Woo! All right, so jacking it from the rear didn't work because I couldn't slide the ramp over because the jack was there. Jacking from the front worked because the Honda Civic has such a stiff, rigid body. We can jack it from the front. Boom. Slide that in place. Make sure it's somewhat in the right place. Drop down. Uh -huh. All right, so I actually had a video of a brake fluid flush maybe 10 videos ago or so, and that was with the Nissan Armada, so I'm not gonna do a full tutorial on this one, it's just gonna be pretty basic. What we're doing is we're gonna suck out the fluid here from the master cylinder. Then with this Honda, I was looking on forums, you start from the furthest away from the master cylinder, so you start with right rear, left rear, right front, left front, work your way to the closest, right? So that's what we're gonna do. I'll show you some clips now, and then we'll move on. Darling, you Eight millimeter for the rear, and we're just gonna crack it loose here. Might need a rubber mallet. This car is 24 years old. Let's try and give it a little tap. Okay, it took about 30 seconds to crack it loose of fidgeting around. So now we're just gonna throw this blue nipple on there and get the brake fluid out. Okay, getting that blue thing on took me about five minutes. That's been the hardest part so far. So now we just open this little eight mil up, turn this thing on, and it should start sucking our brake fluid out. Open it a little bit more. There we go, there it goes. You can see it flowing through there, into here. Okay, last step is just to tighten it up, which I did already, and then throw the little black nipple back on. You're good to go. Now repeat that on the other three corners, and that's all you have to do for a brake flush. Okay, finished up the last three corners, ending with this one here, and now the last step is just to make sure you have enough brake fluid to fill up the reservoir. I really hope I do. Let's check it out. And yes, we're good to go. We have a little bit to spare. And I'm okay with that, it's better than being a little too low. All right, I put the cap back on the brake fluid, of course, and then I went to start the car. I put my foot on the brake, and it went all the way to the floor. I went, that's not good. I took it off and I did it again, pressed my foot down all the way, and went to the floor again, and there's no pressure, so I don't know what's going on. We're gonna have to go in here and check out what's going on. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, no worries with the brakes. I just had to put it into accessory and it stiffened up, so we're good to go. We're just doing a quick loop around the block here, Miss WRX there. And already, it might just be in my head, but it feels like it's a little smoother. It feels like it accelerates a little bit better. It's still only 106 horsepower, but let's clutch in here. Third gear, we're doing 35 kilometers an hour. It rolls pretty good now. We'll hit the brakes a couple times a little harder here. Let's try one right here. Okay, not bad. Back into first. Okay, we'll clutch in. It honestly feels like it glides a lot better now. We'll hit the brakes hard here. Okay, so that left front didn't lock up, which is good. Normally it does when you hit them that hard. We'll go back this way. Okay, well I'm hoping we fixed it. I'm not gonna drive around too much here. We'll go back home now. Sweet, I'm happy. I'm a happy guy. <laughs> Look at how low to the ground this thing is. Whoever put these side skirts on, they're just metal but they're basically set up so they just about make it over everything. They scrape very rarely, but I actually like this thing. It's so janky, but I actually really like it. All right, so if you saw the video of when we bought the car, you know that we have water pooling in here. So Sarah vacuumed it out when we were in BC. Now there's water in there again. So we've narrowed it down to these two holes here, this one and this one. You can shine a light through and see it from the bottom, from underneath the car, so we know that there's a hole that goes all the way through. So what we're gonna do is I went ahead and roughed up the around the holes with a wire brush, and we're gonna use some of this steel weld, which is like a putty that you mix together, and then it hardens up. So we're gonna use some of this and fill these two holes. I think we need too much, just enough to clog the holes up. Let's kind of mush it up here. And we'll stick it on. All right, we're just gonna rip this in half, half for each side. That looks about even. And just stick it in and around this hole here. So what this stuff does is it just hardens up really nice and blocks the hole. It's called steel weld, so that's basically what it is. It's like a makeshift weld to clog up this hole. And a little bit for this side as well. And then I think we'll get some spray paint and just hit it with a little spray paint just so the metal around here doesn't rust. Whilst we're waiting for this stuff to cure, we can wipe up some of this water in here. Not quite enough to get the shop back out again. This is something I should have done in BC when we bought the car. Check to make sure all the lugs are torqued. Now, so far I've only checked one or two and they've been okay, but I'm gonna go around the car and make sure because probably about once a month, I see somebody on the side of the highway with a wheel that's fallen off and you can see the brake rotor is dug into the pavement and just skidded along. So it does happen. I've bought a quad before that had very loose lug nuts and rode it for about three weeks or a month and then realized that they were loose. So when you buy a car, check your lug nuts. What is going on guys? Welcome back. We are go-karting today. We got Jarok Navak here, classic Malcolm, the bird, which is me, and S. Wheelie. Taking his name. <laughs> Let's do some karting. We're gonna slow down a bit and wait for the rest of them. Here they come. Let's go catch Sarah. Take this one wide. Cut in here. Oh, we'll get her.
Okay, round one done. Results are in. Jarak Navak taking the number one. There he is, humble, having some humble pie over there. <laughs> and uh, we'll get him. Round two, we'll get him. You're pretty close. I S really crush it. All right, we got nine people this time. Should be good, right? <laughs> Where are we? Number nine? There I am. That's the one. That's the fast one right here. Here we go. Come on. go after round two the bird that's this guy taking it in two seconds slower though two and a half seconds slower but man that was a lot of fun with five people no. wasn't oh, it great. Five. nine five, five more <laughs> five more Bye bye, fast track. All right, any time. V8 S4 versus Veloster non turbo. This thing rips now. That'll be this race. Alrighty, lads and ladies. That about does it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I feel like we're in a different house every time I outro or intro a video. This isn't our house, we're not drug dealers. This is um, Sarah's aunt and uncle who are away. And we're just watching the place and the cats. This one is uh, Tui, I believe. Mm -hmm. Tui the girl. Say hi, Tui. Tui? Say hi. No? Okay. And then Bug tried to swat at me earlier, so I don't really go around her because she doesn't like me. But anywho, that's all we got for you tonight. Thank you for watching. There might be a possible new surprise and maybe some better, maybe some better camera footage no, coming in the future. Don't so, tell them. It's a surprise. so um, stay tuned for that because I know the videos get a little scraggly, but they're getting better. Okay, the camera gets better with the editing because the editing's getting better. I learned how to zoom in recently, so that's pretty cool. Anywho, later. <laughs>